What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Now today we are driving a Dually. It's a 2019 Ram 3500. It actually has a sport appearance package. It looks good. Now, I've done a video on a Dually. However, it was a high output. And this is my first time driving one with the standard Cummins. Now, if you don't know, this truck does have 850 pound-feet of torque, which is just absolutely insane still. And high output has a thousand, but again, most guys who get the standard Cummins gets the 68 RFE transmission, and it's very easy to tune this truck if you ever decide you want to delete it. But um, so far, hold on. So this truck does have a good amount of power. I, was, I just got just under 60 miles an hour. And yeah, this truck rides really good too. Now, the suspension is actually different from your high output versus your standard Cummins in the rear. They do actually give you additional um, leaf springs in the rear if you get a high output. Now, if you get the air suspension, it's actually gonna be just slightly different too. So one day I am gonna do a video showing you guys the different suspensions for the 3500 because I think Ram has the best like mix of how they tune their, their uh, suspension for towing heavy. But if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for, for coming in. And if you have a chance, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I normally go over the truck on the inside and outside. And I've started kind of doing more driving videos because my viewers said they want to see me doing more driving. And that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So I'm going to take it on the highway really quickly. I'm driving around town right now. And I got to tell you, I've gotten used to driving dualies and it's gotten pretty easy. Now I have the mirrors in their regular um, position and I really do like having them out in the tow mode. So I gotta, I gotta put these bad boys up. I have something special for you guys at the end of this video too, so stay tuned. I'm actually gonna be hooking up a trailer, but not towing, I'm just gonna tell you now. I'm not gonna get you excited for nothing. I'm not towing with it because it's a brand new truck. I just wanna see how the truck levels out if it doesn't any, and then I wanna see the 90 degree turn because I've never done one with my truck I've only gotten about 85 86 degrees so today we're going to see what 90 degrees looks like stay tuned I'm still on a lookout for a dually mega cab those trucks are like needles in the haystack I found one got to the dealership and they sold it. They were actually selling it as I was there. Guy was looking at it and he pretty much was pretty much committed to buying it. And I was like, I'm not gonna do a re review with his truck. I mean, unless I had asked him if it feels okay, which he probably would have been okay with it, but I'd rather not. But you know, overall, I mean the, the long bed is really like a good option to have, especially if you plan on towing, you know, a lot. Again, if you if you find yourself in a pinch where you have to make a 90 degree turn or you have to make a sharp turn, having this uh, long bed does does come in handy. We're gonna find out soon enough just how handy it is. So stay tuned for that. Take a look at the exterior of the truck. As you see, I see the sport appearance does give you the painted front grille bumper. Now it does give you some chrome accents in the front, which is good because having the chrome bumper does match the uh, wheels and the mirrors and some of the emblems on the truck. But I really like the front end styling. You do have your tow hooks below. As I mentioned in all my videos, I like how they kind of hide the parking sensors. You really can't see them. And it really does clean up the front end and the rear of the truck. You do have LED lights for the low beam and high beam headlights and daytime running lights. You have incandescent turn signals though. As you see, this is going to be your long bed. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this little sticker on the side that says Sport. I think I would probably take that off if it was my truck. I think it looks better without that on there. But to each his own, I guess. Now these side markers here, they are going to be LED. And as I mentioned, you do have those 
overload, those two overload leaf springs right here. And as I mentioned on the sport appearance, you are gonna have painted bumpers and parking sensors on the black plastic piece on the lower part of the bumper too. You do have a camera, dampen tailgate, and you can release it from the key. This truck has the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package, LED bed lighting, and connection for your fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. LED bed lights, you can turn it on from the back. And of course it turns on those LED lights in the rear. Now if you do decide to get a Laramie, the Laramie does come standard with LED exterior lighting. It is optional in Bighorn and Tradesman, so keep that in mind if you don't want to step up to the higher trim levels, you don't have to anymore if you want that specific option. If you plan on using the bed of your truck, I strongly recommend you get this one option, the deployable bed step. You can get it as a standalone or you can get it in the, uh, I, f I forget what it's called. Can't remember the um, option, but I'll, when we go over the window sticker, I'll, I'll show it to you. So I'm doing about 75 miles an hour. And I mean, th this truck is really, it's really refined. You know, having a dually is not aggressive as it used to be. I've driven duallys in the past. And I, I recall one time hitting a bump in the back end kind of bouncing up a little bit. But I don't, I don't find that this truck is bouncy at all. My next truck may be a dually, I'll be honest with you. I, I really have started to really like look at them more. And I'm, actually more attracted to this truck now in the building i mean when you guys see the you know the exterior of it with the the black appearance or excuse me the sport appearance package it, it really does make this truck look so like nice classy i do know for 2019 that they did redesign the fender flares and i like how they poke out just a little bit more than the previous generations did so it does make the truck look a little bit nicer too so take a look at the truck, 2019 Ram 3500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 long box. Base price is going to be $53,800. And then here's going to be some of your standard features that will come on this truck. It's a short listing and your options start right up where it says optional equipment. If you want that diamond black crystal pearl, it's $100. Bucket seats in the front, it's $545. Now, towing technology is going to give you the center high mount stop lamp with the cargo view camera, surround view camera, trailer reverse guidance, and that sport appearance is going to give you those painted bumpers, painted grill, and then this truck was equipped with the heavy duty snowplow prep group. It's going to give you that transfer case skid plate, fifth wheel and gooseneck tow prep group with 445. So the package that I was trying to reference out back for the deployable bed step was the bed utility group. In that package, you get the deployable bed step, LED bed lighting, and a spray and bed liner for $6.95. That is a really good option because if you go online and, and just add these options separately, it comes out to be a lot more than what you see here. Now, Lambda Level 1 equipment is everything that you see listed here. You do get ventilated seats as an option on the Laramie now. Previous generation, it was standard. Now, this truck was equipped with a 410 axle ratio for 145. Strongly recommend if you want the max tow for your truck, you really have to remember to add that on or make sure you choose a truck that has that. 6.7 liter Cummins, $9,100. This truck was equipped with the 8.4 inch display, which has navigation. The only thing you added was navigation, excuse me. The, um, the 8.4 is actually standard on the Laramie. And if you're not familiar, dual rear wheels is an option too for $12.95. I would like for them to put, you know, the suspension upgrades in the rear, you know, what they use, because Ram does a good job of adding things for their trucks and the suspension's different. They should add that on here because that's, that's significant in my opinion. Now, this truck was equipped with a rear backup alarm. I did not have a chance to check that out, so we're gonna check that out in a second. Destination at $16.95 with a total price of $72,450.
Yeah, but overall, driving around town, this is pretty rough actually. This is a little bit rougher than my truck. Now, I have a single rear wheel Ram, and my suspension is different from this suspension. I have to do a video on that, and I'm excited to do that because you're gonna be pretty surprised how different all the suspensions are. Now, this rear suspension actually has two overload leaf springs. So, I'm really interested to see how well this handles the um, weight in the rear. But I'm pretty sure it's probably not gonna really do much different from my truck because what I've been noticing online, I've noticed a few guys have been doing these videos too and the, the dually that I saw in the video actually leveled out too. But with those additional leaf springs, it does help with overall control. And of course having those dual rear wheels in the rear, these trucks are gonna handle really well. You know, but overall, I mean, I will say, you know, this truck is definitely very composed. I can tell there's a difference in the power. It's very crazy. Now the 68 RFE is easier to launch. I feel like the Eisen is a little bit more sluggish off the line. Whereas the 68 RFE kind of like takes that power and really goes. I've, I mentioned in a previous video of mine when I was towing my trailer that the Eisen kind of drove like a commercial truck transmission. It just doesn't feel refined. It just feels like it's just a, a heavy duty transmission. So if you're planning on doing a lot of towing and you're playing on always being hooked up to a trailer, I would probably strongly recommend the Eisen. But if you're just doing weekend warrior stuff, I would probably go with the 68 RFE with the 850 pound feet of torque. Although I can tell there's a difference in the power, it's not that much difference. So for me to sit here and say, oh my gosh, like the high output is, is way more powerful than this truck, it's really not. It's just, yeah, I mean, this truck right off the line, it just goes. Whereas on my truck it takes it's like a little bit of like a delay and then it goes but um yeah it's it's definitely something to consider and if you can delete this truck and put a thousand pound of torque on it hey you know you don't have to spend an additional three grand to get the eisen and the high output motor So if someone were to ask you, what are the pros of the 8.4 inch display, what would you say? I would probably say it's having these buttons, you know, outside of the screen. If you get the 12 inch display, you actually have to go through your screen to get to these options here. Whereas on this, they're already listed below. I find that this one is probably easier to live with day to day versus the 12 inch display, but just, just because it's just more user friendly in my opinion. But if you like that big screen and you like to show it off like I do, hey, by all means, go for it. But um, overall, love the design of this interior. I'm not going to spend too much time because if you haven't had a chance, go back through my previous videos. I have a ton of videos going over the interior and the exterior of these trucks. So feel free to go back and watch those videos. I've had a few inches where I had to hit the brakes. The brakes feel about the same as mine. I don't believe that they give it larger front brakes, but I think the rear brakes on the dualies, and it could be on the high output, that they're slightly larger in the rear. 
If you are in the market for a Ram truck, one thing I would tell you is this. I think that Ram does the best job, like really like giving the customer, you know, more options on what they want. The air suspension is a huge win and success, I think, for Ram. I think if it wasn't for that one option, I think a lot of guys probably wouldn't choose this truck. But the air suspension is a really good option to have, especially if you do tow heavy, especially with the dually, the air suspension would really make more sense. And just the power that you get with the high output and even with the standard comments, again, they just give you options. I mean, if you don't want all the power, if you don't need it, because some guys buy even a dually um, and just tow, you know, 10, 11,000 pound trails because they just like that extra security in the rear. Uh, like Big D Productions, I'll give you a shout out. You know, if you ever had a chance, be sure to check out his channel. He actually bought a 2018 Ram 3500. And I believe he has the standard Cummins. Actually, he does have the standard Cummins. And for what he tows, I mean, it's more than enough truck. So if he ever decides in the future, hey, I'm gonna get a bigger trailer or I plan on doing some hot shot work, his truck is still more than capable of towing, you know, with a 410 axle close to 30,000 pounds, if not over 30,000 pounds. All right, guys, so my trailer is right behind me. And I don't know if you, well, you probably couldn't see that, but I just dropped the tailgate. Holy smokes. This truck has a reverse alarm on it. Don't know if you can hear that. That is lame. I am so sorry, guys. If you add that to your truck, you will get made fun of if you go to camping grounds. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, wow. That's funny. I'm sorry. That is comedy. I would never add that to my truck. That is so lame. All right, so we're backing up now. I won't be able to hold the camera too much longer, guys. I, I can't do both. Unfortunately, I don't have enough help when I do my videos. Um, you guys can see that you can zoom in. I need to go check the clearance. I, I'm not even sure that is annoying. I need to figure out how to turn that off. Let's see if you can go into settings and turn that off. That is, that's annoying. Wow. I don't think you can turn that off. Let's see, yeah. If you do opt for that alarm, that backup alarm, it does not look like you can defeat it. It would probably be under this option here. But I do not see that you can turn that off. That that would annoy me. I don't even know why they would put that on as an option. I mean, if this was like a cabin chassis or someone's using this truck to like, you know, do something commercially, I could see a backup alarm, but man, that's, wow. Now this is where I left the uh, hitch height at last time. It looks like I can miss it, but I'm gonna lift it up anyways, just because I don't wanna, I don't wanna damage this truck, so. One thing I wanna point out I noticed that on this screen, the zoom in's a little bit more fuzzier than my than my truck. Not by much, but it's definitely, my truck's a little bit more clear than this one is. That is so annoying, guys. I, I don't know why, wow. All right, so I'm pretty much under there. I, it took me like two attempts. And I did not have to lift up because I'm actually a lot higher now. All right, so let's just drop her down just a little bit. I can come back. I could, it might grab it here. Maybe if I pull this. That did the trick, right? That did the trick. It's like perfectly under there. Okay, so so in order for me to let you guys see the squat, hold on, let me just make sure. I'm completely on. I'm completely under that ball. All right, so we're gonna retract all.
Wow. It dropped it about an inch and a quarter. It's level right now. Look how far away the cab is from the cap of the trailer. And as always, see, I, I try to get a white truck today because I didn't want to be reminded how beautiful black looks in front of my trailer. Like, that is just, oh my goodness, that is so sexy. That is sexy. And this will look good, like, with the two-tone with the brown. I probably, I might do that next time. We'll, we'll see. Man, that looks so good. Now, to all my... Uh, my original gangsters that have been on my channel for the longest time. What am I about to do? What am I about to do right now? This is before. And. You're welcome. Wow. So the trailer's pretty level too actually. So it's kind of good that it levels out. Now this literally did level out. 100%. And as you see, those overload leaf springs didn't really move at all. I mean, this is probably about, I haven't, I don't want to tell you this because I'm kind of spoiling a video I have forgotten to do, but my trail is about 2,600 pounds for pin. As you see, it's still leveled out the truck. Now, if you were to add 33, 3,400 pounds of pin, I don't think that it would drop much more than this. It'll probably maybe drop maybe another half an inch. But I don't think it'll drop much more than that. I think once you get into that 4,000 pounds, that's when you're gonna really see a difference in that, uh, in the squat there. So let's go ahead and see that 90 degree turn. This is my first time really seeing my trailer behind the dually. And man, those, those hips are wider than my trailer. That is pretty cool. They're wider than the trailer, guys. Fifth wheel trailers are about eight feet wide. Think about that for a second. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't go fast because unfortunately I don't, I'm not hooked up to brakes. I can't hook the trail to power because then it, it logs mileage. But I'm only gonna just go and do a nine degree turn anyway. So let's see something real quick. Oh my gosh, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me. Let me show this to you. Hold on. I can't snake you guys. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I am already. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a long bit probably next time. I already can see it. Let me just go in some more like this and then turn like this. Oh wow. Wow. That's not even a hard turn. You can see the you can kind of see my wheels flexing on the trailer. They're gonna flex a lot when we make this 90 degree turn, I can tell you that much. There's a difference with a dually versus single rear wheel at low speed. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a dually next time. <laughs> it's a difference. There really is a difference, guys. Wow. It's been a long time since I've towed a trailer with a dually and I have already forgotten. Let's see if the truck leveled out a little bit more. All right, so as you see, the truck is definitely level. It's definitely level, guys. Looks so good in front of my trailer. I'm getting a dually next time. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So sexy. This is big sexy. If this was my truck, I'd call it big sexy. Because it's big and sexy. Oh my gosh. I want a dually now. All right, next truck I get, guys. Hold me to it, okay? If I if I get cold feet and try to get another single rear wheel, unsubscribe to my channel. Okay, don't do that because I might not get a dually. I, I'm saying it now, but you know, I, I have a I don't live in a neighborhood where I can justify a dually right now. But if I get a bigger trailer, I promise you this: I will probably have to get a dually because my truck won't be able to tow much more than this. Wow. Let me back up just a little bit so I can get on level ground. If you are building a truck, whatever you do, I'm telling you right now, do not add that alarm, that backup alarm. That thing is so terribly loud. That is terrible. Like, that sounds awful for a truck. Yeah. 
don't off for that. All right, so here it is one last time, guys. And then we're gonna make that 90 degree turn, okay? Wow. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. But yeah, as you see, you are so far away. There's such a long drop off there. It's not even funny. I, I, I wouldn't even be afraid to make a hard turn. I would never look back. Never look back. So let's make that 90 degree turn and that will effectively, well, that won't quite effectively end the video because I have not shown you the numbers on the door yet. I'm always gonna show that to you, okay? All right, so I know that this is not quite a 90 degree turn. Before you get mad at me, holy smokes. Look at that flex. I almost don't wanna do a 90 degree turn, guys. But as you can see, this is where my truck is almost about to touch the cab. Yeah, I could probably turn it maybe maybe two more degrees in and then I'll probably be almost exactly. But I want to show you guys just how much you can turn in. But I will tell you like this, guys. You do not have to make a 90 degree turn. You do not have to. I have yet to do that yet. And one thing I have to be careful of is I have to make sure I don't damage this truck. Now, I did not hook up my chains, as you can see, because I didn't want, you know, to damage anything too because those chains may not be long enough for a 90 degree turn this is probably about 83 84 degrees which is really good i don't know if i want to do a 90 degree turn guys i'm starting to get cold feet because i don't want to really damage my my axles on my trailer and it's just i'm going to do it anyways if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel just go ahead and subscribe i'm going to damage my stuff for you guys so you should just go ahead and subscribe All right, we're gonna back up. This is a 90 degree turn, pretty much. Let me walk around. If you're in the market and you're still debating between long bed and short bed, go ahead and get the long bed truck. This is peace of mind at its highest level. I am so far away from that cab, it's not even funny. I could literally turn all the way in and I would still have room. Like that is, I'm sold on dually and getting a long bed truck next time. But then again, I'm probably gonna get it. If I get a dually, I'm probably gonna get a mega cab. And that means I have to still stick with my 6'4 bed. But boy, this truck looks so beautiful, guys. All right, so I hope that you guys have liked this video so far. Big thanks to Tate Chrysler here in Frederick, Maryland. They really have like been a huge help to my channel. And they actually let me borrow their truck today. Now, I didn't tell them I was doing this, but I promise you, guys, I did not damage your truck here. Even with my pin box. I'm so far away. I mean, this is just, this is a really good test for me because I've, I haven't sold myself on buying a dual rear wheel yet, and this is really helping me really decide that I'm gonna probably do this in the future. So let's go ahead and just look at the numbers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically unhook the trailer first off, and then I'm gonna show you guys the number, okay? Anytime you're looking at a dually ram 3500 your gross axle weight in the front is going to be 6,000 your gross axle in the rear is going to be 9,750 pounds gross fuel weight rating is going to be 14,000 pounds now anytime you're looking at a dually or a single rear wheel always know this whenever you opt to get the high output you're going to get the eyes and transmission 
the Eisen transmission is going to weigh anywhere between 200 pounds and 250 pounds more than the 68 RFE transmission that comes on the standard Cummins. So your payload for this truck is going to be 5,612 pounds. With that kind of payload, there's really not any trailer that you can't tow with this within reason, of course. When I say trailer, I'm typically talking about uh, toy haulers, fifth wheel trailers, things that are going to be really heavy on the pen. I would strongly recommend if you are looking at, you know, fifth wheels, toy hauler, you want to probably stay under, you know, 4,800 pounds. That, that should give you enough capacity for your occupants and for any gear or any add-ons that you do to the truck. Like this truck doesn't have running boards, um, doesn't have a toolbox, of course, because it doesn't come from the factory with one. So if you add those things on, just know that those things are going to really decrease this overall number which means it will reduce the amount of trailers that you can tow but guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful as i mentioned i am going to start a series on my channel soon um, i don't know what i'm going to call it yet but this truck is actually going to be the first truck that i'm going to use for my series and then as time goes you know i'll probably get some ideas from you guys but again thank you so much for supporting this channel and i'll see you in the next video